Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today as we're sitting here talking about the, the upcoming WrestleMania 32. And uh, I know that we already have Stone Cold Steve Austin who's thrown his hat into the ring and The Rock has said he's going to be there. But uh, today they had an ongoing discussion about uh, do you think Hulk Hogan will be a part of WWE's WrestleMania 32, trying to make it one of the biggest and one of the best WrestleManias of all time. Um, Hulk Hogan, of course, was uh, fired slash asked to resign um, to get out of his contract when everything went down. I believe it was back in July. I'll never forget that night. Basically, I was uh, laying in bed. Um, I was asleep. I was on the East Coast. I was on vacation. And uh, I believe it was like 3 in the morning. My phone just started going berserk. <laughs> Every single person, as they were finding out um, about the Hulk Hogan um, scandal, I, I guess is the best way to put it, um, everybody was, was saying, I, I can't wait uh, to find out what Stevie Breach thinks about this, because um, I guess just of how I've been saying that I'm a big Hulk Hogan fan, and I'm a huge Hulk Hogan supporter, um, and, uh, you know, it, it's hard when one of your heroes... Um, bites the dust um, and and just you know eats it hard. Um, Hogan has gone through um, you know things in his life that that have sucked. You know the divorce that you know bled him dry of, of a lot of his money. He probably still has a ton more money than I do. Um, but you know Hulk Hogan uh, was thrown a life raft by Dixie Carter that kept him afloat for a little while, and then uh, when that contract wound uh, wound up, it just happened to be right when the WWE Network was going to be launched, and uh, Vince McMahon uh, made him a deal to come be basically the spokesman for the WWE Network with WWE and gave him a deal um, where he would work a couple of days a month, whether that was you know going to television or doing. Um, um, you know, it's sort of like, uh, uh, you know, WrestleMania signings or, or going to schools and talking to kids, um, just basically being, uh, you know, a, a supporter of the brand for WWE, um, where he is going out and he is working, um, but, you know, he, he's not killing himself. He's not having to crawl into a wrestling ring in front of a couple thousand fans and, uh, and, and try and work some sort of a match, which isn't going to get there because, Hogan was never able to pass the physical and never able to get into the ring, no matter how hard he trained. Um, basically, doctors just said that his, his body was broken down too much. Um, I can I can remember before the scandal came out, um, there was people of dreaming of a way to try and get Hulk Hogan involved into a match, whether if it was Hogan versus Cena, Hogan winning the um, Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, um, where he wouldn't have to work that much. He would just probably have to just sort of hang out into a corner, get into a couple of... Uh, you know, rest holds with some guys, and all of a sudden at the end, Hulk up and maybe drop a, a boot where, you know, somebody like the Big Show would go toppling over the top rope, and Hogan would get that last de the defining moment uh, in the company. Um, you know, I, I would think it would be cool to have Hogan in the ring one more time, um, but I, I think that honestly, this is up to somebody that, that that's not up to me. I can honestly tell you that, you know, what, what Hogan did was was very bad, and um, he used, you know, a word that, honestly, in my mind, uh, I don't understand why it has any value um, in America. It's definitely a very hateful word that, uh, honestly, any time is spoken, um, it, it, it brings the worst out of anybody, and, uh, you know, it's just a word that just people should just let go. It, it had a meaning in the past, and, and why people still use it today. I've got no clue. I was taught as a young, at, you know, in high school age when I was driving my truck down the road listening to Tupac by an older older man that lived in my neighborhood, basically. Uh, I lived in Georgia, and they basically said, you know, if, if we keep using this word, people around the world, people, you know, all throughout the United States, they're always going to think of us as just, you know, being these um, southern folk who, you know, marry their cousins and things like that. It's just, you know, we have to evolve. Um and, and and that's not who we are anymore. Um, but uh, Hulk Hogan um, definitely will always have a place in WWE. Um, I, I don't think it's just a, a, a thing of waiting for this sort of to, to blow over and, and then bringing him in. Um, I, I think that finally Hulk Hogan is, is sort of, you know, seen or been talked to and, and shown that, you know, just sort of, you know, give it some time. You know, he was definitely hitting it hard for a while where he was uh, posting things on Twitter and retweeting lots of fans saying that WWE shouldn't reinstate him. He's just sudden, 
letting it go. I mean, even me as, as a big fan of Hulk Hogan, I can't really think of the last time I saw Hogan, you know, do an interview, um, you know, begging to get his job back. He's just sort of, you know, on his sailboat, sailing on down the road and just, you know, let it, letting it go. And, and someday that phone's going to ring. I'm not quite sure if it's going to ring before WrestleMania 32. Um, but I have no doubt in my mind that somewhere down the road, um, WWE will will see that there is forgiveness there. Triple H did an interview, I believe, with uh, a radio um, show in Washington D.C. Um, or maybe it was up in Massachusetts. It was it was somewhere on the East Coast where basically he was asked about you know when Hogan was coming back, and uh, Triple H talked about the fact that you know that America as a whole um, they really like um, that sort of um, comeback story. Uh, where you tear somebody down and then you build somebody back up, and maybe they're not as big a star that they could uh, it could have been, but um, you know they they climb back up that mountain. Uh, you know we we saw Mel Gibson go through it. It's a great example um, where basically he had an alcohol problem, and uh, there was one night when he got pulled over for a DUI, uh, and he used a lot of words that he shouldn't have used um, about religion and things like that. And um, I don't I don't honestly know what. Mel Gibson went through, but I know that he went through some real hard times, and, and you know he basically wasn't getting acting gigs anymore, uh, unless he was basically you know writing and directing his own movies, um, and uh, some of them were hits, some of them were flops, um, but it, it got him to the point that you know all of a sudden the new Mad Max movie was coming out, and um, you know he did an appearance, and and nobody really thought about those bad things that had happened. It just was like whoa. You know, he's at the Mad Max movie. This is sort of like something that they, it, it's good that he's here. And um, people really didn't think about those things, or at least they didn't talk about them. It's not like they were out of their minds, but it, it just was, it, it, we're over it. And now we're moving on to the next thing. Definitely, um, Hulk Hogan um, is, is the biggest wrestling star in the world. And without having Hulk Hogan, it's hard to talk about the history of the WWF, uh, of WrestleMania 1, all the way in through WrestleMania 9. Uh, when they sort of gave the reins to the younger guys, the Shawn Michaelses, the Bret Hart's, the Yokozunas, um, the Lex Luger's, um, things like that. Um, but um, I, I'm not quite sure. I don't think the phone's going to ring before WrestleMania 32, but if he is brought in, if he is just, you know, I they, they can't really use all three of them in the same segment again because you can't bring them all out there and be like, oh, look, it's, it's all of us. We're here again in Dallas. Um, because that's the way WrestleMania 30 kicked off. But uh, definitely Stone Cold Steve Austin said that, you know, he's got some ideas that he wants to try and run. And um, he has to get them by through creative. Um, I don't I don't know. I, I, I remember when the whole thing went down. I remember The Rock was supportive of Hulk Hogan. He didn't really come out and say that he, he didn't do anything wrong. He said that, you know, people made mistakes. So it's not like this guy's going to be nuclear to the point where The Rock's not going to want to work with him because of the fact that he made this huge mistake. Um, but uh, you never know what could happen, you know, what roadblocks could be in there. But I, I'm hoping that there's a, a home for um, Hulk Hogan inside of WB someday. I'm just not quite sure that it's going to be today or tomorrow.